So today I'm going to be sharing with you why I joined Teach for America. So if you're interested in learning more about why I decided to join Teach for America, then just stay tuned and keep watching. So when I was in third grade, our teacher had us do an activity of what we wanted to be when we grew up. And of course, when I was filling out this activity, I wrote on my paper, I want to be a teacher because I want to help others learn. And that was pretty much the extent of me wanting to be a teacher. As I got older and grew up and graduated high school and moved into college, my interests changed. So moving into college, I went to college in Atlanta, Georgia, and I studied economics and organizational management. And so I really wanted to go into business. That was my focus. I've always said that I wanted to be my own boss. So I knew that I wanted to put myself on a path to be set up for success to do that in my future. So while I was in college my sophomore year, I went to an informational session on Teach for America. And the reason why I did this was because I noticed that there were a lot of seniors on my campus preparing to interview for Teach for America. And it was a big deal. They made it to their final interview round. And I remember them coming into what we call the speaking center on campus, where they could schedule appointments with a tutor in the speaking center to kind of help them prepare for their final interview. Because as you know, during the TFA final interview, you have to do a sample lesson that is five minutes. So they would come in and I would see them going in with these huge poster boards and all these materials preparing for this huge interview. So that kind of sparked my interest in Teach for America, wanting to really learn what the organization is all about. So when I found out really that they had to do a five minute sample lesson, that made me very anxious and nervous and I was like, I am probably never applying to Teach for America because I do not want to have to do this five minute sample lesson. I do not know anything about teaching. That is going to be way too stressful. There's no way I will ever do Teach for America. However, I went to this informational session because my interest was sparked and when I went to the informational session, basically a recruitment manager was there on our campus and it was a few of us in the room and she was just telling us all about Teach for America, really allowing us to share with her what we would be interested in teaching and ask her different questions. So from there, I took her business card and then I left the session. I really didn't think about Teach for America after that session until I was headed into my senior year of college. So let's go to my junior year of college. I was again, a economics organizational management major. And I wanted to work in the business side of the fashion industry or work in some form of the entertainment industry. So I always knew that every industry has a business side to it and they need people who are well versed in business and management and things of that nature. So I pretty much knew that as an economics organizational management major, I could pretty much go into any industry that I was interested in working in. I was not tied down to one specific industry. So I knew I wanted to go to an industry where I had interest. So I've always been interested in fashion. It's been something that I just appreciated as an art form. And I decided to apply for many, many, many internships in fashion. If you only knew the amount of cover letters and resumes that I had sent out to potential internship opportunities at different companies, you would be pretty much blown away because I was determined to get an internship in the fashion industry. And I got an internship in the fashion industry my summer before my senior year, right after my junior year had ended. So I was able to go to New York City and do this amazing fashion internship. And I was on the business side of fashion, so I was getting real world experience into what my career would possibly look like if I decided to pursue a job in the fashion industry on the business side. So I was a production and operations intern in New York City. And I was there pretty much from the week after I was out of school 
um, up into about mid-July. So from there, it was a really great opportunity. Um, it was a smaller company, so I was really able to interact with people from different departments within fashion. I did your typical fashion internship um, duties as far as rolling garment racks down the sidewalk into these fancy buildings. Um, I did Starbucks runs. I went to get fabric. I input different companies' orders into the computer and help out the accounting department. I was really working in a well-rounded environment where I was able to experience all sides. I also managed a sample cell that they were having in the city. So it was a really fun opportunity. As I reflected on the experience, I came to the conclusion that I felt that this wasn't what I was meant to be doing for the rest of my life. While it was a great learning opportunity and experience for me, I just came to the realization that this is not what I'm going to end up being fulfilled doing. Like, I felt in my soul that this wasn't my purpose. So as you know, I am a Christian. So at that time, I was really researching on the internet about purpose. I wanted to know about purpose. I went to Brooklyn Tabernacle Church and I bought this book that they were talking about during the sermon and it was something like how do I know God's will or how to figure out God's will for your life or something along those lines. And I read the entire book and I was just like I need somebody to tell me what I'm supposed to be doing once I graduate college. I thought I was supposed to be working in fashion, but I realized that this is really not what I feel that I am called to be doing with the gifts and talents that God has given me. So I really need help because I'm lost and confused on what in the world my purpose is. So at this time, I would come home from my internship and living in the area that I was living in and I would be on my phone scrolling through social media and I came across a blog and it was talking about God's purpose for your life. And I read the blog and it was pretty much telling me that in order to figure out what in the world you're on earth for, what your purpose is, you have to seek God for it. You have to have a relationship with God. He created you and the creator can tell the creation what they were created for. So me trying to figure out myself, why in the world I'm on earth and what my purpose is, is not going to work with me telling myself that. I have to go to the one who created me. So this really started me growing as a Christian and developing my own personal relationship with God. I got a journal, I started to read my Bible consistently, and I was just definitely um, growing in my Christian faith. And that is when I started to really seek God as far as wanting to know, God, what is it that you created me for? What am I supposed to be doing once I graduate college? Because I wanna do whatever it is you have created me to do. I wanna fulfill the calling that you have placed on my life. So that is when I started to really figure out that I wanted to do a career that was meaningful. I wanted to do a career where I could give back and help others. I did not want to do a selfish career for the rest of my life. So I felt that really when I reflected on my fashion internship, it was more of a selfish thing. It wasn't me saying, okay, God, what do you want me to do? And he told me fashion. It was more of, hey, tyranny, what is it that you want to do? Oh, girl, let's do fashion. So I pursued fashion. It wasn't ever anything that I felt God specifically led me to do. So I was looking into different career opportunities and that's when I decided to revisit Teach for America. I did a lot of research, went on the website, talked to other people, and I realized that Teach for America was something that I really wanted to pursue. After learning about their vision and their mission and how right now in the United States, a kid's zip code really determines the quality of the education that they are receiving. Kids who are in areas that are low income are receiving less opportunity 
to attain an excellent education. They're receiving lower resources and not the same opportunities that students who live in wealthier neighborhoods are receiving at their educational institutions. I had an opportunity growing up to receive an excellent education. My mom, yes, she was a single mother, but she made sure that I had access to excellent education and excellent opportunities to put me on a path to success as I grew up. So I went to a private Christian school from K all the way through 12. So I never was really aware of the different social justice issues within education because I had been privileged enough to receive a quality education my entire life. So that is another thing that encouraged me to move forward with applying for Teach for America when I realized that all kids aren't afforded the same opportunity to receive a quality education as I was able to. And I just felt that that was really an injustice and I wanted to do something about it. I wanted to become a part of that solution. So that is when I decided to apply for Teach for America and really understanding the heart behind the organization and what their mission is all about. I felt that it was definitely in line with my personal values as far as wanting to do a career where I could give back and serve others this was definitely the right step for me to take. So that's when I decided to really pursue my interest in applying for Teach for America. I started to take some education courses my senior year. I had heard great things about the education department and I decided to take some education courses. I took one education course on my campus and I ended up taking four more education courses because I enjoyed them that much. It was in one of my education courses that I had to compare the educational system in Brazil to the educational system here in the United States. And through that research is when I really started to find out about the educational inequity that students are experiencing here in the United States. And that really fueled my passion for fighting for social justice issues. I have been involved in other social justice movements on my campus as far as the livable wage campaign. I was actively involved in student organizations like that. And just overall, the culture of my school was one that was very concerned and passionate about fighting for social justice. So I also decided to volunteer on Fridays at a low income area and basically provide reading support to students there. It was elementary age students and you wanted to really help them develop a love for reading and an enjoyment for reading. So once I did that, then I was able to really say, hey, I kind of like working with kids. I was working with the most kind, sweetest first grader ever and she was amazing to work with. And I was like, if I have a room full of kids who are just like her, I know that I'm going to love teaching. So um, that was another thing that just encouraged me to pursue my interest in applying for Teach for America. But once I made up my mind to pursue applying for Teach for America, I went through with all of the requirements that they have you do, and I was ultimately given the opportunity to come to the final interview and do that sample lesson that I dreaded wanting to do my sophomore year of college, and it went very well. And after the final interview, then I found out that I was extended the opportunity to join Teach for America and relocate to the Houston area to serve as an elementary educator and I have been teaching ever since. So I am definitely an advocate for those to join Teach for America. I feel that is an excellent opportunity to pay it forward and to give back. So I wanna thank you so much for staying tuned to the end and watching this video. I hope that you really enjoy learning about what inspired me to become a part of the Teach for America movement. If you have questions, make sure that you leave them down below in the comment section and I will definitely get back 
to you. If you have specific questions, then also you can email those to me. And my email address is located in the description box down below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure that you have subscribed if you haven't. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video that I have. Bye!